The waters of the deep Pacific Ocean are much different from that of most other locations. Without any land, streams, or fresh water for thousands of miles, and without light so far down, the creatures become exotic and not like anything else on this earth. Take the Crossada Norvegica, for example. It is, despite being a jellyfish and appearing identical to any other in function and appearance, completely different from all others in further groupings beyond just species. Deep in the Pacific and occasionally Southern Oceans, this creature waits, drifting through the sea. This jellyfish, unlike others, however, only has two stages of life, rather than three. This is an important distinction because it means that it never reaches an effective sexual maturity and makes it very unclear whether or not this creature mates with others of its species. However, they have been seen both producing asexually, as their body would imply, as well as traveling with other jellyfish of the same and even other species, leaving this fact incredibly unclear. The confusion with this species of jellyfish doesn't end there, though, as even the way the creature eats is unclear. Most similar species have small spines across their tendrils, which can be used to poison, capture, and eat small prey, such as plankton. And while there is some evidence of this being the case for this species, this is also very unclear and there's biological proof of the opposite as well. Even its color and name are misunderstood and vaguely followed as well, with species varying in appearance from red to yellow, and in one of its only major media appearances, on a stamp to celebrate 2007's Canadian Polar Year, its name was completely misspelled, and humiliating both the government and the creature itself. In the end, while not the most interesting and unique of jellyfish on first glance, its variety from all others makes it one of the most notable regardless of rarity or size.